Hello and welcome to What's in the Night Sky for May 2024. I'm Dara and I'll be your guest presenter for this month. Now it's not a great month for spotting the planets, but we do have the Eta Acroid Meteor Shower, the Sunflower Galaxy and the constellation of the month is Canis Venatici. The Eta Acroid Meteor Shower runs from the 19th of April to the 27th of May. Its peak is the 6th of May. The best time to view being the early hours before sunrise. Named after the constellation of Aquarius, more specifically its brightest star Eta Aquarii, which is the one just here. Although this is where the radiant is, where the meteors appear to come from, you can look across the whole sky to try and catch sight of some of the meteors. Make sure you head to a dark spot and let your eyes adjust, get comfy and be patient. The full moon this month is on the 23rd of May and it rises just before 10 p.m. It's also known as the flower moon. Full moons were named to help keep track of time. The flower moon is called for the flowers that tend to bloom in May. From the flower moon, let's take a look at another flower, the sunflower galaxy. The sunflower galaxy, also known as M63, is 27 million light years away from Earth and it's a flocculent spiral galaxy. Flocculent spiral galaxies have arms that aren't clearly distinguished from each other. Although it only has two arms, many appear to be winding around its yellow core in this image captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. You can find it with a telescope between the constellation of Bootes, Ursa Major and Canis Venatici, which leads us to the constellation of the month, Canis Venatici, the hunting dogs. These two stars are called Cor Caroli and Chara. Cor Caroli is the brighter of the two, meaning the heart of Charles, to honour King Charles I of England. Others say it's named after his son, Charles II. If you use a telescope, you can see it is actually a double star. You can also catch the International Space Station. There are quite a few ISS passes this month. On Thursday the 13th of May, starting just after 11 p.m., the ISS will travel west to east overhead. Share your astronomy photos with us using the hashtag NSC Stargazers. Happy stargazing!